Hi, this is Scott Dudley, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a geo map in Looker Studio to visualize certain metrics um, by location. And what we're going to do is basically rebuild something that looks like this map here, um, which is a bubble chart. And this one is showing the active users um, on my website. For the period of uh, the last 30 days and it is showing uh, the bigger the bubble then the more users for that location so to replicate this we're going to click on add a chart and then you'll see here there's four options for google maps so there's bubble map there's filled map there's heat map and there's line map so you can experiment with the different types, but the one that I've just shown you is a bubble map, and this is the one that I prefer. So we'll click on that, and we'll just pop that in here, and I might just zoom back properly in here so it looks normal. There we go. All right. So this is how it looks by default. So we'll click on here, um, we'll make it a bit bigger to pretty much fill the size of the, the screen. Now you'll notice that by default it's got this grey silvery colour, which for me it looks a lot better if it's um, the map above rather than this silvery colour here. So you can change that by going into style. And then uh, you'll see here that it's got report theme as silver. So usually I prefer just to choose standard, but just to show you the different types. There's also dark, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. There's the silver type and the standard. So standard is the one that I prefer. And then you've also got the choice between a map and a satellite. So that's the satellite view, but for me, the map definitely looks better. Okay, so what we want to do now is go to the setup uh, tab of the chart, and it's already got locations in there. Um, it's by default, it's selected country. This one has it by city. So I'm going to select city as the location because we want to uh, focus on the actual city. Uh, and then for the color dimension, so we can see here this one also has city as the color dimension and it has active users as the size. So we'll choose city. Might be easy to type it in. And then for the size of the bubble, active users. So as you can see, it's looking almost exactly the same as the one above already. Um, except it's got this legend down the bottom here. Okay, so personally, I don't think there's any need to have each city um, mentioned here with the different colors, purely because there's hundreds of them. Well, maybe not in my case, it's not, but for a high traffic website, there would be hundreds of them. So to get rid of that, we go to style. Uh, and there's a lot of options in here. So show legend title. Uh, where is it in here? Here we go, color legend. So at the moment, the position is bottom. So if we select none, that will remove the color legend. It's still got this other legend here as well, which is the size legend that's showing the size of the bubbles. So if we go to position and change that to none, then that will remove that as well. So basically now we've replicated this chart 
oh, sorry, this um this map up the top here. Now, if you move the mouse up and down, then you can zoom in and zoom out, which is why it doesn't look exactly the same as the one above. But there's a lot of options in here which uh, are worth mentioning as well. So if we go back to setup, you've got the color dimension, which we've chosen as the city. The size we've chosen as active users. This can basically be, be any metric. All right. Uh, the default date range we've set up as auto so that it just pulls that in from the uh, the date filter up the top here. Uh, and you can also filter this down too. So um, you can filter it down by anything basically. So if you only wanted to focus on Australia, for example, then you could set up a filter where it only shows uh, active users in Australia and then obviously the rest of the world here won't have any bubbles at all. Then there's the styling section here. So like I mentioned, you've got choice between the map and the satellite. Um, you've got the style, which I've mentioned as well, with the silver and the dark styles. And then you've got these sliders here for roads, landmarks and labels. So the easiest one to show you here would be the labels because they're just the labels for the countries. So if I reduce that, it should, well, it's reduced it to zero now, but um, yeah, so as we move, you can't really notice it there, but this is if you want to make the, the labels on, on the countries larger or smaller. I'm pretty happy with them as they are. And it's also got the same thing here for roads and landmarks. Now, obviously, you're not going to notice this unless you zoom right in, because if, if you do zoom right in, you can see the, the roads and the landmarks, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Now, you've also got this layer type here. So show location as bubbles. If we click on this drop down arrow, you've got filled areas as an option. Which which looks a bit, oh, okay, so that's just um, filling in the area on the map, which doesn't look as good as a bubble. Then you've got a line map. So I can't even see anything with that line map. Connection map, I've never used any of these, so I'm not exactly sure what these are. And then there's the heat map, which is pretty self-explanatory. So that will show a heat map of the different cities, um, with obviously red being the uh, the most populated. Um, and then it'll be going down, I would imagine, to yellow and then to green. But uh, I always prefer to use the bubbles. All right, so then you've got the bubble layer. So this one here will either increase or decrease the size of the bubbles. All right, so if the bubbles are too large, then you can reduce them. Or if they're too small, then you can increase them. Usually I find if you have that about midway, then it, it works pretty well. All right, map controls, allow, pan and zoom. So this is where you can use the mouse to either zoom in or zoom out. Uh, show the zoom control. So there are these, the plus and the minus buttons here, where if you click on the plus, it zooms in. You click on the minus, it zooms out. Show street control view, which is this little man here, um, which I'll show an example of in a sec. And show full screen control, which is this... Um, toggle full screen view up the top right hand side here, pretty self-explanatory where it will put the map basically as full screen. Okay, so we look, we go further down, uh, size legend, so yeah, we've already removed that from the bottom here, show legend title, and then the color legend, which was showing all the different colors for all the different cities, so at the moment that's turned off because it's in the position of none, the same as this one up the top here for the uh, size legend position none. 
Uh, then, then you've got font styles as well for the legend titles uh, and background and borders. So I would imagine this would change the uh, the color of the C, does it? Uh, let's just have a look here, does it? No, it doesn't. So I'm not quite sure exactly what that would do. It doesn't really seem to do too much. But I'll just put it back to where it was. Um, and then the rest of these here you can have a bit of a play around with. But just before we go, what I did want to show you was the uh, the street control, which was this option here under map control. So you, um, if you want this to be on, then obviously you have to enable it. But what you can do, if we put this in full screen, is you can drag the little man just the same as you can with Google Maps. Like it says uh, underneath, drag peg man onto the map to open street view. So I'm going to drop it down onto Perth, which is where I live. And it's 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 zoomed right in there into this particular location. Uh, if we just it's not letting me zoom in or zoom out. It's letting me zoom in but not zoom out, which is a bit odd. All right, if we go back. Might just try that again. It should allow you to zoom in and out. Maybe I have to uh, zoom into a particular area. And then drag. Yeah, okay. So. This is where you can pretty much explore the exact area that you've dropped the man on. Okay, and obviously you can drop it where the bubbles are. But you'd have to zoom right in. And these aren't always going to be 100% accurate, of course. Uh, you'll find that where, where the bubbles land on the maps, they're not always precise locations, but they should be pretty close. All right, so if I zoom further into Perth, right into this street, into that actual corner, and then drop the man on that corner, then you can actually walk around the street, which is pretty bizarre. I mean, I just find that fascinating. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful. If you've got any questions um, that you'd like answered in another video, then just let me know. Thanks.